Hey there friends, Jeff Fritz here, and I want to talk to you a little bit about Python. And I've been exploring and learning a lot about Python recently and why I'm choosing to check out and use the Intel distribution for Python. Let me tell you, the Intel distribution improves the speed of common libraries and algorithms, especially data analytics. Let's face it, these are the folks who make your processors, so they know how to optimize all of those data analytics and the algorithms that you're going to be using to take advantage of the processors best. Look, there's new optimizations in the SciPy and NumPy packages that are going to provide significant speed ups for your scikit learn experiments and tests that you may be running. This also leverages Intel Data Analytics Acceleration Library, the Intel DAO. You're going to get the Intel Math Kernel Library running amazingly fast for you when you're using Python from Intel. And of course, for some scikit learn algorithms, the performance bump you're going to see is upwards to 140 times faster than the standard Python distribution. Let's go take a look at how to get installed with the Intel distribution and then let's run a simple benchmark and see where this gets us how much of an increase we see on this machine that I'm running on all right here I am on my Windows machine desktop this machine is running Windows 10 and you can see up there in the task manager above me this machine has eight logical processors four physical cores on one socket running at 3.6 gigahertz this machine also has 32 gig of RAM all right now I've extracted everything from the Intel distribution and I have it sitting here as you can see in my command prompt in the Intel Python 3 folder now I've already run the setup batch file to extract and lay out everything on disk that I need and now I can activate my my conda distribution here and get it running right here in the command prompt by running from the scripts folder the activate command and that'll start up and you can see now I'm in my root space working in that same folder Intel Python 3 but you know what I like using Visual Studio Code I like having that great editor with IntelliSense that gives me some type ahead and also gives me a little bit of information about the various algorithms and methods that I'm using so let me start that now all right so here I am inside of Visual Studio Code and I've got just a little benchmark application built and ready to run for us. You can see here that we're using the Dask library. This is going to help us parallelize all of the computations that we're going to run. It's going to help us to natively scale our Python capabilities. Now, underneath the scenes, Dask is actually wired up to the math kernel library from Intel in this distribution. This way, we're using the same syntax, the same features, and we're going to get the enhanced performance from our Intel processor that the engineers at Intel have built for us. We're going to do a simple interaction here to generate 100,000 random numbers, and then we're going to calculate the QR value for those. We'll compute those and just output a quick benchmark of the time that it took to present and calculate that data. So let's run this right here in my Visual Studio terminal. And through the magic of fast forwarding time and seeing just how long that performance is going to run, we see that our final value is 40.9 seconds to run that task. Now that's not too bad. That's running in parallel using all eight logical processors here. Now we can actually unlock a little bit more performance by using Intel's thread building blocks, the TBB module. So let's go execute that by passing in an extra module definition here and see how long this takes to run. All right, there you go. 33.29 seconds. So we saw almost a 20% performance improvement just by switching to the thread building blocks, that TBB module. This is impressive. This is something that I can now look at and say, going forward, I want to use and make sure that I get the best performance for all of my calculations, for things that I want to work on. And this is just a, a simple random number generator. I hope that you find that 
this distribution, the Intel distribution for Python, is going to help you out with better performance for your scientific calculations and for other algorithms that you want to run, whether it's in Jupyter Notebooks or right here at the command line. Thanks so much for watching. This has been another one of Fritz's 10-Minute Tips.